Hello and welcome to my channel. In this math video tutorial, we're going to discuss principle of mathematical induction. If you are new to this channel, I sincerely appreciate you for visiting my YouTube channel. I am by name Instructor Allison and I've been teaching math and science for decades. And if you've not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please just hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that when I upload new video, you get notified. And then also like this video as you're watching along. So here we're going to prove by mathematical induction 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to n is equal to n into n plus 1 all over 2. If you're new to this topic, do not worry. I'm going to take you through the step one after the other. So here we have about three steps in solving this problem. And this first step, I would like to start by proving that or showing that we're going to show that n equal to 1 is true for all positive integers of n. So what do I mean? It means that whenever we see n, we have to substitute 1. So in this left hand side of the equation, what I will need to do here, I'm going to replace this n with 1 and also replace this n you're having here with 1. We want to see if the left hand side will give us the same thing with the right hand side. And if it gives us, then it means n equal to 1 is true for all positive integers of n. Then we have to check into the next step. So let's get started. So from the left hand side here, we're having 1. We replace the n with 1 equals. Then we have also from the right hand side, we have 1 into 1 plus 1 all over 2. So let's walk through this algebra. So you can see that 1 plus 1 in the bracket is 2 and 2 multiplied by 1 that is 2, 2 divided by 2 and that gives us 1. It means that the left hand side the left hand side sorry is equal to the right hand side. So because the left hand side is equal to the right hand side it means n equal to 1 is true. So that is the first step to this problem. So let's see the second step. The second step is about assumption. We're going to assume that n equal to k is also true. So this is the step for assumption. So what do we need to do? It means on the same process, we're having 1 plus from the first question. We're having 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to the number n, which will be replaced this time with k because we're making an assumption. All right. So the right hand side also we have k. I'm using this into k plus 1 all over 2. And anything made by assumption, we'll leave it in that assumption form formations, right? We just assume that n equal to k is true. So at this point, we can conclude that n equal to k is assumed to be true. So the step three is from the assumption we would have made from step two above. We're going to show that. We're going to prove. We're going to show that n equal to k plus one is true so how do we prove that n equal to k plus 1 is true we're going to do it in such a way that whatever we're having at the left hand side just like in the first case whatever we're having the left hand side will be equal to that which we were having at the right hand side so what do we need to do at this point all right it is simple so from this step 2 we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to the number k this time we're going to increase it to k plus 1 remember they said at this point we're making n to be what k plus 1 so we have k plus 1 so it has increased from k to k plus 1 and then on the right hand side anywhere we have n remember that n here is k plus 1 we have to substitute k plus 1 so we have k plus 1 into k plus 1 
plus 1. That is representing this n with k plus 1 plus the 1 that has been there. So close the bracket or divide by 2. So what do we need to do at this point? We want to work on this right left hand side such that it will have exactly what we have at the right hand side. So how do we achieve that? You can notice or notice that from this particular point to this point is what we have here. And what is the value we have for this particular one? It is this. The whole of this represents this. So in place of this, we'll substitute this value we have on step two. So that becomes k into k plus one all over two plus k plus one, which is this equals what do we have here? We have k plus one. Here we can make it to be k plus two because one plus one is two all over two. So how do we make this left hand side to be equal to this right hand side? That's very simple. Because we have denominator two here, we have here two, we can still make here two. And if I want to make here two, it just by dividing this expression by using two divided by two. Of course, you know, two divided by two is one. Alternatively, we can, <coughs> sorry, we can make here over one and look for the LCM of the denominator, which we still arrive at that particular point. So I don't know which one will be okay. But if we divide here by two so that all the bases we have two, for this to be valid, you will need to add two to this expression so that it becomes two divided by two. That's cancel out. It's more like when you don't have anything there. So at this position, what we need to do now is to see, we just have to, because we have the whole denominator to be two, so then we just concentrate on what is left. And that is k into the numerator k plus one plus we have two into k plus one. This is equals k plus one into k plus two, all right? If you want to add these two to them, you can just say all over two on this other side, all over two, but that's not too necessary. So here we can factor out this. You can observe that k plus one is common to both sides. So we just pick one of it and then also consider this k plus two, that's our side, k plus two. This is equal to, we have k plus one also here into k plus two. You can see that the left hand side is equals the right hand side so you can see how simple that is so it means at this point n equal to k plus one is true for all positive integers of n so if you've not subscribed to this channel just hit the subscribe button i'm going to solve more examples so that i will use another approach different from this so if you want to see when i have uploaded the video please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification like this video and share thank you very much for watching